Welcome to the Capitalized Life YouTube channel. I'm Matthew Johnson, president and owner of Johnson Wealth and Income Management. I do hope you enjoy today's video. You've heard people say it. That person was born in a silver spoon in their mouth. That person has tons of natural talent. That's the reason that they're successful the way that they are. We've all heard it. We've probably all said it. We look at people who are successful and we say they were just an overnight success. The reality is, is that that might not actually be totally true. Recently on a business trip to Florida, I was able to read a book by one of my favorite authors, Malcolm Gladwell. The book was Outliers. And in that book, Malcolm challenges how we think about people who are successful. And one of the main points of the book was the fact that, you know what, people tend to be successful not because they're born with silver spoons in their mouth, not because of their position in society, not because they're just dripping with natural talent, but the reason that they're successful is because they seize opportunities. They see the opportunity and they take advantage of it. Now, from a human perspective, I want to encourage you. Are you looking and taking opportunities? Opportunities on a relation, relationship level. Are you saying, I love you? Are you saying, please and thank you? Are you using every day as an opportunity to be an encouragement? I, I know I don't, and I know it's something that I should do. Are you doing it? Life is so busy, and the older we get, it seems like the busier we are. But you know what? Life isn't about busyness. Life isn't about always, you know, getting everything done on the list. Sometimes life is really more about being attentive to those that are around us, caring for their needs, caring for what, what's going on in their life. From a personal perspective, it's something that I challenge myself every single day to say please and thank you and to be able to be a good listener doesn't always happen. Now, from a financial standpoint, when I was a young boy, my granddad, John, he looked at me and he gave me this, this very strange kind of bizarre phrase. And he said, you know, Matthew, pigs get fed, but hogs get slaughtered. Well, he was a feed salesman, and I figured that that had something to do with his business, and I didn't understand it. But today, as an adult, it makes more sense. So let's talk about an opportunity that you and so many other Americans have today. Today, the stock market is at an all-time high. And though you could just take the passive approach and you could just leave the money sitting in the stock market, you could continue to cross your fingers and toes, hoping that the stock market goes up and you get an extra 1%, 2 3%. May I suggest to you that the market is providing you today, at this very moment, an opportunity. An opportunity to take those winnings off the table. Because you see, if you continue to focus on the G and you continue to get closer and closer to retirement, sometimes that G, that growth, can turn into an L. It can turn into a loss. And all of the anxiety that you felt in past times when the market was going down, if you would simply seize the opportunity to take those winnings off the table, then you could create for yourself another opportunity. And what is that opportunity? It's to turn the dollars that you have seen accumulate and grow for your retirement and turn those dollars into income. You see, I don't know if you'll, if you'll agree with me or not, but the definition of a successful retirement is having more income than you can ever spend. And if you can seize the opportunity of taking advantage of Social Security, if you can seize the opportunity of pensions and rental income, if you can take and learn how to convert what you've saved in those growth dollars and turn them into income dollars, income that will last as long as you do, it will be that opportunity of income that will allow you to be able to do the things that you want to do in life, like spending time with your family, spending time spoiling those grandbabies, seeing the things that you want to see in life. 
So may I suggest that opportunities are the things that make people successful. But those that are most successful are the ones that see and look for the opportunities and take them. Make them their own. So today, consider the opportunities that life gives you every single day. And may I encourage you, take advantage of them. Thanks for watching. And remember, please share this with your friends. They need the encouragement just like I do, just like you do, and just like this entire world does. And remember, it's up to you to make it a great day.